Hi, welcome to I Love the Library. My name is Deb and I'm the Public Services Supervisor at the Library. Today I'd like to feature what's new at the library. One of the items I'm listening to is Decision Points by George W. Bush. We have copies both in audio, as you can see, and in the hardcover. Um, in this memoir, former George W. Bush describes the critical decisions that shaped his presidency and his personal life. I'm finding it a fascinating read and just interesting to know what made this man tick. And it's interesting to see after the presidency, you know, why he made the decisions he did. Decision Points by George W. Bush. I think it's always interesting to learn about the woman behind the scenes. This book, from the heart, Spoken from the Heart by Laura Bush, starts out talking about her growing up years and uh, one decision, as you may, that shaped or influenced her life. As a 17-year-old girl, she was involved in a traffic accident in which she was driving and killed one of her friends. And how this have profoundly affected her life. She went on to college, became a teacher and a librarian, no less, and married George Bush when she was 30 years old. How have events shaped her life and what are her perceptions of her husband's presidency? Spoken from the Heart by Laura Bush. Crossing the Atlantic Ocean, we have My Journey. A journey, my political life, Tony Blair. Tony Blair was the Prime Minister of Great Brit Britain and during some very significant times. I think we all remember his influence on the royal family during the death of Princess Diana. Um, that wasn't his only major thing going on during his Prime Minister time. Um, he gives a candid view of why he made his decisions and what impacted his life during this time. Tony Blair's book. Another book I've been looking at is Edward Kennedy, An Intimate Biography. I know we've seen just zillions of books about Ted Kennedy. Here's another look. Um, I've started to read it and it does go through of course the background of the Kennedy family and stuff, but it also delves more uh, a lot into the events and people that influenced this man. So, Edward Kennedy, An Intimate Biography by Burton Hirsch. This book I, I found really fascinating. It's a history of the Ojibwe people at home in Minnesota and uh, photographs just uh, mostly taken in the 50s and stuff. Um, just really interesting to see a part of the culture that is around here. Uh, there is a foreword by Gerald Visner and I would like to read a little quote that he says about the man who put this book together, Bruce White. Bruce White has created a marvelous appreciative and respectful journey of photographs, images, stories, and cultural narratives among the Anishabi of Minnesota. His picture, heart, and generous spirit are surely seen in this book. So take a look at it. We Are at Home, Pictures of the Ojibwe People by Bruce White. So you can find these and our other new arrivals at the library. See you there.